Hello everybody, today is another December video celebrating DOS in December. So if you haven't checked out the last video then recommend having a look at that one but basically we're using 86 box so we've chosen a Pentium 120 machine with 16 megabytes of RAM and we've got DOS 6.22 installed. Today we're going to explore something a little bit more interesting and of course this is an Amiga channel and I'd be lost without Amiga so I tell you what let's try doing something crazy and running DOS in an emulation machine inside of DOS run an Amiga emulator two emulators one inside each other DOS UAE so before the days of Win UAE there was DOS UAE DOS UAE can't emulate anything like AGA or you know sort of like advanced graphics or anything like that. You're lucky basically to have an Amiga 500 working at speed. And we may have some issues with sound. I know that in the early days of Amiga emulation, sound was always the issue. And we may have some of that. We don't know. We'll see. We'll have a play. So DOS UAE, this uh, website here has uh, the link to the last version of DOS UAE so you download that that downloads as a zip file and then we need to get a couple of things together and of course remember from the previous video it's a little bit difficult getting stuff within this emulator because basically we're we're dependent on floppy disks or CD-ROMs and today because my files are going to be larger than 1.44 megabytes we've got to make some CD images. Let's go to our downloads and then let's go into DOS stuff and then I think I left everything under DOS Amiga. Yeah there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So the DUAE zip file is the DOS UAE that I downloaded loaded and then I've downloaded an assassin's disk number one as an ADF. I've got kick.rom so this is my 1.3 Amiga 500 uh, ROM file that you'll need. Regards Amiga kickstart ROMs you're either going to be looking at Amiga forever or if you've got a Amiga 500 kickstart ROM like this then that's that's basically what you need. So I extract out the zip file DUAE and you should have something like this in here. So what do we do after that? Well you've got tools like uh, image burn and you can choose the option to create image file from files or folders. So this one here. So once you've done that copy over everything that you want. So your, your kick.rom uh, the contents of this folder needs copying over and then basically save it as an ISO and that's how I've ended up with an a DOS Amiga.ISO. If I double click on this and I get Windows Explorer to load it up you'll see the contents of it. Here we go. So DOS Amiga contains the DUAE folder, my Assassin's uh, PD disk, kick.rom I've even thrown in ProTracker as well. I've got uh, DOS opened up and I want to add my CD. So I can go down to the little C CD symbol here and go to image, downloads, DOS stuff, DOS Amiga, dosamiga.iso. Don't ask me for that ISO file because that contains a kick.rom file and they can't be redistributed. So there we go. And if I go to the D directory and go DIR, Yep, you can see the contents of that CD, which is brilliant. So if I go to uh, the C drive, actually go to MKIR and we'll call it Amiga. X copy has the forward slash E for everything. There we go. So D star dot star. Uh, yeah, no, star dot star right c slash amiga okay this should work yes to all please work yes that looks like it's copying brilliant there we go so if i list the c amiga folder yes we've got everything in there let's go into the duae folder 
Okay, and what we're looking for is the UAE.exe. We'll just type UAE and it's loading up. Brilliant. So this is the interface for UAE. Um, there's kind of some similarities to WinUAE. It's structured by, you know, disk settings, video settings, uh, hard drive sound and things like that. So uh, disk settings, I'm going to change DFO to, I think I need to go up one and go to ASI. So that's, that's my Assassin's disk loaded up. So I'm just going to do escape to go back on the menu. Then video, we'll leave that for the moment. Now CPU is an 020, which is quite good, two megabytes of RAM. But remember, we haven't got AGA, so this is either OCS or ECS um, chipset. And then ROM image is kick.rom. Now I wonder if that's correct. Maybe it is under memory. Yes, yeah, select ROM image. I'm just going to make sure that that kick.rom is selected. There we go. It's got the proper path now to the ROM image. Sound is turned off by default. So what we're going to do is we're going to try enabling sound. So we'll turn it on and we'll see what happens uh, because there's a nice crack throw music at the beginning of the Assassin's Disk. So that's a good uh, test. So game port one is using the mouse. So yeah, that all looks good. So if I do save changes, save settings there, and then we're gonna try running UAE and see what happens. Looks like we've got an Amiga. Ooh, but the sound is really distorted. I'm just gonna lower the sound down a bit. There we go, right, so as you can hear, it's a bit distorted the sound. It's not supposed to sound like that. Here, if I hit F12, I can't get out of the emulator. Now that is supposed to be what you use to get out of UAE, but for some reason that isn't working for me. And I have tried this before and yeah, just F12 just doesn't seem to be happening. I'm, I'm hitting the F12 key and I can't get out of the emu em emulator. So we'll have to do a control alt delete to uh, reboot. Control alt delete, no. Hard reset, God dear. Yeah, we'll have to do a hard reset. Reboot DOS, but that emulator loaded up. Now remember, we're in Windows 10 at the moment. We're emulating a DOS machine in 86 box. And then what I've done inside of that is I've emulated an Amiga within the DOS environment. So that wasn't bad. Now you're probably wondering, why on earth are you bothering with this mic? And honestly, there's no practical reason to run an emulator like this. This is most probably the worst Amiga emulation setup that you can do. Because really, I've got two emulators running at the moment and it's 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 not optimized at all and uae for dos was very good for its time but really when you compare it with nowadays and what uh, tony william has done with uae it is light years ahead now when uae compared to this but this is just a bit of fun what we're doing today really i'm celebrating December and I'm doing it in my own funny, weird way. So uh, let's try say changing some of the settings on this. Uh, we can enable line doubling. That might help the image look a little bit better. Now, with regards to the sound, what we might be able to do. Now, as you can see, there's a minimum buffer size and a maximum buffer size. So I'm wondering if we tweak some of these numbers that we might be able to uh, get things running a little bit better. Now, generally, if it's if you've got sound that's distorting, I would say that we need to increase the buffer. So let's try changing that to 4096. 
leave the maximum at 8192. I'm going to change the bits to 8 bit because the sound was 8 bit anyway back in the day. And the output frequency, I think 22050. So basically, I've just halved that number. I think that's going to be fine. We're not going to bother with stereo at all. We'll leave stereo alone. And we'll do save settings again. Let's try running that and see if there's any change. There might not be any change whatsoever. But, um, oh, right. Now that's booting up and that's look right. The picture is looking a lot better. And really, this is a, for back in the day, we were Pentium 120. This would have been very usable. The sound is still bad. And yeah, it is just remind me of the early days of Amiga emulation of having sound issues. Yes, this is bringing back memories. We're going to leave it there, I think. I'm just going to lower the sound a bit. There we go. We've done pretty well today. And I tell you what, thank you for watching today. I know it's been a bit crazy. And you, you can take this as a tutorial if you want. I wouldn't recommend doing this at home, really. There's no point. Just download WinUAE and just make a, an Amiga 1200 with God knows how much memory. But this is just showing you kind of a bit of a history lesson, I guess, in a way. Um, Amiga emulation has been around since the DOS days. It was pretty amazing for its day on what it was able to achieve and allow us to use our Amigas on our DOS machines that we eventually moved to. But... Uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and take care everybody. See ya. Bye.